They can only travel with 64, so that they already play with a smaller rotation than they normally would be at home when you can have an unlimited roster. Um, but uh, they're, 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 I guess the way they're trying to break it down is have 30 offensive players, 30 defensive players, and four special teams people. And Scott Harding gives you a little bit of adjustment because he can play so many different positions, particularly on special teams. And so they'll be moving guys around a little bit, trying to help some of the guys who will be on special teams, which will be trying to help on offense. And that includes some of the linebackers like Benny Fanua, who uh, was a ver is a very good special teams player, but he's going to get more work as a linebacker this game. They were in the dance studios earlier this uh, year, and that created a big bonding experience. They were there for three weeks and two dance studios, and they just really got to know each other. It wasn't the best of conditions, but they got to really grow as a team, and I think going on the road is going to help this team also become further closer because um, they're going to be out there. They're going to have a, it's an us-against-the-world mentality, and I think that's really just going to help this team at this point get closer and, and, and really uh, start to develop as a team, and I think they need this camaraderie. But when you play a little bit higher altitude, the thinner air sort of takes away your breath a little bit. And it's going to be a little bit of a problem for a running game that doesn't have a lot of running backs. They still have, don't have Joey. A couple of the other backups are hurt. So they've been auditioning a bunch of guys this week. But I, I think the depth factor is going to be a concern because you probably want a bigger rotation when you play in higher altitude.